Yo guys, what the hell's up? This is CSS for Beginners Lesson 15 and today we're going to take a look at Descendant Selectors. That's coming up. Wow. Okay, so before we dive into the CSS, I want to take a quick look at what Descendants are in relation to HTML. So to do that, I've got this nifty diagram once again here, which I'm really proud of for some reason. And uh, essentially, this is just um, a very simple HTML structure. You've got your body tag at the top in blue, then uh, you've got a div tag nested within that and a h1 tag and then you've got this h1 tag in pink nested within this div tag so what are descendants well essentially because all of these tags here this pink one included are nested however many levels deep within this body tag we would call those descendants of the body tag okay um, this h1 here is a descendant of the div tag and the body tag okay they're all descendants of the body tag so you can kind of look at this a bit like a family tree, you know, where you've got the father, the mother, the children, the grandchildren, that kind of thing. So it's a pretty simple concept, and we're going to use this concept in creating some uh, CSS selectors right now. Wow. Okay, guys, so I'm back here in the code, and uh, I've not added much to it, just this div tag here, which is called subcontent, and that's nested within the main content, and then within that, I've put a p tag. Okay, so just going back to that idea of descendants again, Basically, we're just going to take a look at this section today and we could say that all these tags here are descendants of this main content div because they're all nested however many levels deep within this div, okay? And this one here would be a descendant of this as well. It's a descendant of this, but it's also a descendant of this because it's nested within it. So how does this help us in CSS? Well, say for example, we wanted to style some p tags, okay? But we didn't want to style them all. We just wanted to style these ones here, these three, because they're all nested within the main content. We want them to be styled within a specific way, not this one here. So how do we do that? Well, that's where we use descendant selectors. And to do a descendant selector, first of all, we write the parent element or the parent ID or the parent class. That's our first section of the selector. So in this case, it's main content. Simple, yeah? So let's put that first. So we're going after the ID of main content. And then what we do is pop a space. Okay, and then whatever we put after this will be what we target or the descendant of that element there. So we want the p tags. So we'll say p and then open our curly braces and then we can write our declaration. So this is saying to the CSS, okay, go and get the main content div. That's the parent because that's first in the chain in the selector. Okay, that comes first. We've got a space to signify that we want a new element or class or ID within this containing element. And we're saying that we want the p's. So we're saying we want all P's within main content. Does that make sense? Okay, so we'll just give these a simple style of red. And then we'll save this and view it in a browser. Open this up in Chrome. And there we go. So these are the P tags that are in that main content div. And this is the p tag that's not. So that's not been styled red because it's not a descendant of that main content. So let's take this one level further. We can have as many descendants in the chain as we want. Now, I mentioned before we had this p tag here. Now, this is a descendant of main content. So it is getting styled by this. But say we only wanted to style this one and not these. Well, what we could do is we could just write subcontent p. And that would do the trick as well, because this P here is a descendant of subcontent. So that would do the trick. Or we can take um, the descendant selectors as many levels deep as we want. We could do something like this and make it really specific. OK, main content, that's the overall parent element. Then we're saying we want the descendant element within that of subcontent so it's going out and grabbing that because that's a descendant of this and then within that we want the descendant of the p tag okay does that make sense so parent child grandchild 
essentially. That's what's going on here. And we can take it as many levels deep as we want. You know, if we had other divs in here, other IDs or classes, uh, we could take it further and further and further. Um, it's not a great idea to get really specific because then you'll find it really hard to override these styles in the future because remember when we talked about that point system, it's going to top up all these different points and it's going to be hard to override. And you might find yourself using that important uh, declaration when you don't really need to. So you don't need to make them too specific. The trick is make them only as specific as they need to be. So in this case, we didn't need to do this main content because this will do the trick. I was just illustrating a point that we can go as many levels deep as we like. So that about covers it for this lesson. It's a pretty simple topic. If you have any questions about descendant selectors whatsoever, you can uh, comment below and I'm going to answer all of those. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the next movie. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like if you enjoy these videos. Please, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.